Yeah, Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for. I'm gonna fight your ass. You know what's the real fight, what's the real money fight is me, not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Don't no one want to see that, you know you beat them already. That's the easy fight. You want that real right here. Hey, and I'm not- Unfortunately, we can't Fox. talk like that on Fox. Congratulations, Nate, on a spectacular victory. You imposed your skill set, you did everything you wanted to do. How happy are you with your performance tonight? Anderson Silva, you absolutely suck. Super Bowl weekend, the biggest rematch in the history of the business. I'm calling you out, Silva, but we're up in the stakes. I beat you. You leave the division. You beat me. I will leave the UFC forever. Chill Southern, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to DC, listen to DC. There's a guy that I've known for a long time. He's a wrestler, he's an All-American, he's a former UFC champion. I never thought I would fight him, but Brock Lesnar, get your ass in here. Decision. George St. Pierre watching very closely. Joe will get set to visit with the winner, Nick Diaz. 11 straight wins. Returning to the octagon tonight. All right, I'm here with the winner, Nick Diaz. Nick, first of all, congratulations. Welcome back to the UFC. And congratulations on an outstanding victory tonight. Give us your thoughts on the fight and tell me what you're thinking right now. Uh, George St. Pierre, call out that I see you walking around, you've been screaming George, even though you just beat BJ Penn in an outstanding fight. What's on your mind right now? George I don't think George is hurt. I think he's scared. I think he's scared to fight everybody right now. What's up? Where are you at, George? Excuse me, guys. Alhamdulillah. I want to say something. I want I want to stay humble, but I have to talk because your guys talk too much. And you know what interesting? I understand how crazy power UFC PR machine. Your guy, beginning of the year, he tap like chicken. End of the year, he fight for the title. Crazy. Hey, the, 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 you know, guys, this is true. This is not trash talking. Hey guys, Irish only six million, Russian 150 million. I wanna fight for your chicken because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division. Alhamdulillah, everything God gave me. Большое спасибо всем. Все Россия, все СССР, за все сердца, кто смотрит мои бои всем по всему миру. Я знаю в моем городе Махачкале кинотеатр России смотрят тысяча человек мой бой. Пускай здесь в зале они отсутствуют меня. Но я знаю, мой народ, народ меня поддерживает. Аллаху Акбар, только вперед. Thank you. Daniel Cormier. Dan, really a spectacular performance. One second. John Jones. 
You can't run away from me forever. I'm the kid at the wrestling tournament that is always in your bracket. No matter where you go, boy, I'm coming. You better hurry because I'm getting better. And you are getting better, sir. Uh, uh, amazing performance tonight against a true legend in Dan Henderson. Did anything surprise you about this fight? No, I mean, it was just, I know nobody can wrestle me, so it doesn't matter. If I decide to take John Jones down 100 times, I'll take him down 100 times. This is my octagon, I'm the man. I don't think we should say anything more. I think what you did tonight was a masterful performance, and I can't wait to see you fight for the title. Thank you so much. Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen. What, what is next for you, Matt? Well, the next is another guy on the opposite side of the octagon. I tell you, it sounds like it's gonna be George St. Pierre. I hope he trains hard. Um, you know, I once said that I couldn't beat, I couldn't beat Frank Trigg better than I beat him the first time, but I did that time as well. So, uh, you know, George is next in line, so let's, uh, let's go. Well, congratulations on a most impressive victory. All right, here's George. I'm very glad you won that fight, Matt, but uh, I'm not impressed by your performance, and I look forward to, to fight you in the near future. What do you have to say to that, man? Uh, that's his opinion. It might stink, but it's his opinion. Now, you are the interim champion. Of course, Conor McGregor is the lightweight champion. Give us your thoughts on that matchup. Where you at, McNuggets, you fucking piece of shit? I'm going to kick your ass. You better come and fucking defend that belt. Defend your fake Tony, congratulations on a spectacular performance. Tony Ferguson, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Get it. Now, Yoel, this was a fight for the number one contender position. You will be challenging for the world title next. Give us your thoughts on that potential matchup. El que ganaba esta pelea tiene posibilidades de fajarse para el campeonato mundial. ¿Cuáles son tus pensamientos en la segunda pelea? Tú lo has dicho, Joe. You said it, Joe. Es la oportunidad del título. There's an opportunity for the belt. Dios la acaba de abrir. God just finished opening. You all, please take a look at the big screen. Michael Bisping is giving you the thumbs down and the bird. I love you, Mike. I love you, Mike. You say something like this for me, and now I say you. I love you. See you soon, boy. After this great fight and having this great victory, do you think we'll be seeing you fighting regularly now? The reason I was off is because everybody sucked. There was nobody to fight. But with this, uh, with this belt, I want to defend it against uh, Jorge Masvidal had a good last fight. Good last fight. All respect to the man, but there ain't no gangsters in this game anymore. There ain't nobody who done it right but me and him. So I know my man's a gangster, but he ain't no West Coast gangster. You know what I'm saying? Well, that'll be a fantastic fight, Nate. 